Okay, that's that um, Q300. That Q300 came with a nice set of instructions. It looks like it's a generic set for a quadcopter, but they've got a little hexi down on here. See that? That looks like an interesting little thing, a 450 hexi. Okay. Well, we'll get to the bench down here, and I'll show you the bits of this bike down here. Um, got a Q330 sitting on the bench here. Uh, there's no unboxings. Unboxings don't happen. Rather like old Bruce. Started putting it together. Thought, hey, better make a quick little vid on this frame because I rather liked it. I saw, is it Alishamo? Alishamo? The um, guy who lives in China who does all the vids. Well, he had one sitting on his bench and I'd already seen it and thought, I'm going to order one of those. And as soon as I saw him fly it, I went, yeah, why not? So here it is. It's a $13, 13 Australian dollars for this frame. Um, comes with a plain old uh, glass fibre. Looks to me like about one and a half mil. One mil glass fibre top. There's the rest of the screws there. Little hex wrench screws. And then they give you... This is a PCB. Board. Once again, on absolutely very thin fiberglass, and I would say this one is the same thickness, about 1.5. I don't have a set of hernias. I'm going to get a set so I can be a show off too. So, anyway, there you go. Look at that. What have we got up there? It looks like we've got some 12 volt and ground for camera because it almost looks GoPro ish frame at the top here. Once I put this on. Um, so you've got 12 volts down here for whatever, and then there's your ESC power pads, which are very close to the arm, so it's just a matter of jumping up and onto the arm with their ESC, and then you swap it over, and you've got your battery here for your battery to go on, and I'd say that's going to be living more, more than likely inside there, I'd say. And then they've got a 12 volt set of pads just here too to pick up. And I would say that would be for nice and handy for the TX, wouldn't it? So, spunky little frame. So I'm going to whack the rest of that together with the magic of the camera. We'll be straight back and see it as one complete frame. See you in a sec. Okay, with the magic of video, there we are. Okay, so frame on together. And she looks quite spunky, doesn't it? Yeah. Just to show you a 250 frame difference, we'll reach over and grab a 250. There's a ZMR. Okay, so ZMR as opposed to, let's just lift that a bit. Well, there we go. So, she's a 3.30. And she obviously sees that little difference in there. She's just about as wide at the back. Just about as wide at the front. It's just the length. There you go. All right. So, what we were hoping to do with this frame is run. Let me just quickly dive under the bench here and see if I've got one handy to see. Okay, so there's a set here of 8 inch props. I'm going to run 2212 motor 
on it. Jeez, it might fit, guys. Here's me old Mr. Woody. And Mr. Woody is fractionally bigger. This has a 1400 kV motors on it. Still a few ESCs left. I've started raping the ESCs off it actually. But um, yeah, so some 1400 kV is. We're going to go on to that. Now, with the height of those. Ooh, 22 mil height just out of shot for a second. Yeah, they're going to fit. I reckon I'll get. I reckon I'll just squeeze the eights on. So with the magic of video, we might do that too, guys. See you back soon. Okay, good old mag magic of video. There's the 22, 12, 1400 kV bulletproof motors. Use these in thousands often on all my toys that I've been playing with. Um, that's going to fit on there fine. They've got really good, just take that off for a minute. They've got the ability you will fit, whoops, a daisy, you will fit the four screws into it. So I've just used a couple of ones I have lying around. That's right. One of the things you have to have in the hobby is lots of the screws, as you know. All the boys in the hobby will know that, girls. All right, well, looking at that frame, it is great for any sort of cameras here. Well, we've got sort of action camera here, VTEC action camera. We could slip that in there like that. Got the ability, they've got some, lots of different areas for cable ties, cable ties, cable ties, wrapping over. If you had a GoPro and the GoPro was sitting against there, it's got a shelf for it to sit on. It could sit there, the GoPro. It's wide enough between the arms for it to sit on. If you had a GoPro, so that's good. Um, my little VTEC one here, I'll, get, I'll just slide her into there like that and strap it on. And then to get decent flight times, in something, hit some decent flight times on something that's a 330 size. We've got a 3000 milliamp hour battery that I fly on my bigger ones. That should fit in there. No problems at all. And you'll get a tie on that and a tie on that. On that side there. Like that. I really don't believe this frame is the type of frame that you're going to smash around the trees in the park. She's a bit light. It's plastic. Plastic arms, fiberglass, 1.5 of its lucky frame. I think this is a, dare I say it, a, a more gentle, a gentleman where you like, older man FPV ship. Because there's enough room on this one to not only get your FPV antenna on here, and get a naze board on here. You could put the naze up nice and close, but you would get GPS on here as well. You could get a GPS antenna on here somehow as well. You'd be able to get the antenna in the middle of there. Put that up there. You'd be able to get your antenna for your VTX, for your transmitter up here, for your goggles. You'd be able to put a normal GPS mast up here, or you could actually frame it all on top of a, vib a vibro mount and actually have your GPS sitting on top of that. So it's a big enough ship aircraft to actually hold a lot of gear now. There's an 8 inch prop sitting on there and as you can see I can clear that where it's sitting at the moment. Now if you weren't using these sort and you were just going to go the sort of motor 
and you had a threaded motor with an 8 inch prop, well, you would have to put your flight control a little bit further back and you're still going to get your 8 inch prop over the top. Alright, so it fits 8, so you could fly 8 inch prop with it, 3000 milliampere battery with it, and a action sports cam that has your 5 power straight off and your video straight off on one of the Mobiuses or derivatives of, and fly with it. So it's not your super duper race through the trees 330, but it would definitely be a craft with a that could fly 8 inch props. Okay, you could fly 8 inch props, 3000 milliampere batteries, still nice and light, able to go anywhere that you want, throw it in the car. <coughs> So, not for everybody, it's definitely not a ZMR frame, it's not going to be anywhere near as rigid or as strong, nowhere near, you know, you bash your good old ZMR frame. It's flexi, plastic, you come smacking down on one of these arms in the concrete, or grass for that matter, if it hasn't been rained on that day, weak you're going to bust it, alright, so you say nice, easy fly, bring it down home, nice and easy, go nice and travel around, nice and easy, looking at what you want to look at, on your holidays, throw it on your backpack, that sort of machine, alright, if you do happen to crash it into the ground and break it, who bloody cares, it was... $13 Australian, so what's that, $9 American, you know, four or five quid, <laughs> you don't even get a schooner for that, do you, uh, a schooner in my country in Australia is a uh, big glass of beer, or a medium size of beer if you come from England or Germany, okay guys, that's it. That's the frame that I wasn't even waiting for. I forgot I'd ordered it because it was such a cheap, easy, plastic looking frame. And I thought, but yeah, that looks good. Alishimo was flying one. It looked great while he did it. I thought, yeah, I've got some 1400 motors sitting on a wooden frame at home. Why not? You know, for 10 bucks, get the motors and the gear off the wooden frame and throw them onto a modern plastic mean looking dihedral run around the park job. Okay. Cheers for watching. If you've liked it, subscribe down the bottom. Um, all the usual tricks. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Okay.